All right, folks, this is Zerik, and I have a few quick, absolutely must know tips for this game. And these aren't like really easy to figure out. Obviously, everyone knows tips. Well, I shouldn't say they're hard to figure out, but they're not super obvious things. All right, these are actually important tips that you need to know, and you might not know, figure it out on your own until it's too late and you're already frustrated with the game. All right, so I was gifted this game by a friend, and he required that I play the game on hard. Uh, <laughs> he's like, ah, play the game on hard though. And I'm like, all right, whatever. And so I'm playing the game on hard and it is not balanced well for hard. It felt like, right? Uh, what I ultimately ended up happening is I'm not going to load the save file right now, but I'll show you in a second here is that my entire team has no hit points, no SP, right? No hit points, no SP. And I am struggling so hard or I was struggling so hard to make any sort of progression. And it's because of a few mechanics that the game kind of explained, but didn't explain well enough. And they were throwing so many things at me all at once that even if they did really explain it at some point, I don't remember it or didn't notice because they're throwing so many tips all at once. All right. So when you have your character, <clears throat> specifically Joker, more important than anyone else. You're going to get these four personas very early on. They force you to fuse a, bi uh, a bicorn in the tutorial, and they give you the pixie and the jack-o'-lantern to do it. These two are insanely important early game in order to having any sort of sustainability inside the palace. So notice that Joker is kind of low on hit points. Let's go into a fight and have a bad fight, right? This is going to happen to you, especially on a harder difficulty. You're going to have a bad fight eventually. You're going to be kind of low on resources. Like, look how look how already. Look at that. He was. Look how fast everyone just died. On the higher difficulty, everyone just died like so fast, right? <laughs> and, and, and notice that running wasn't really an option, right? I tried to run, it wouldn't let me run. So let's do this again. Except this time, let's try to win the fight. Come on. There we go. One last one. Jeez. Alright. So as you can see, one mistake. Yeah, one enemy intact. just one enemy ambushing you instead and all my resources are gone instantly instantly all my resources are completely spent right this i don't know if it's like this on the easier difficulties uh, but it is like this on hard okay so instantly all my resources are spent now here's the thing that the game didn't do a great job of explaining to me so it's something that I did notice, but I didn't really quite understand how to use it. And that's that you can use your persona's attacks. See that? The attack I'm using with him right there is Lucky Punch, I believe. Notice that Lucky Punch isn't listed here, but it is an attack that you use with him. Now the same actually happens with Joker. So I didn't realize what was happening 100%. I knew I was using my Persona's attacks, but I thought I was just using only the first attack and it was kind of basic, but actually you can use a lot more than that. So if you if we switch over to fi a Pixie out, it's all you. Leave it to me. Switching out. I'll do it. and we use Joker, so I don't have enough SP with Pixie to heal us other than one time, right? So I can heal one time with Pixie, but if you do attacks with Pixie, you can see you can do those kind of things. And I noticed that, but I didn't really know that you could do so many of their attacks. And I still don't understand exactly which ones are going to be used. It seems to me like it's just random and which it picks. Like, I don't know if it's based on what order. But the important thing to know is that personas that have, like, healing abilities, you can typically activate their healing ability by doing a two-hit combo. You do the first two hits of your basic attack and then you do your ranged attack twice with Joker and see how it activated her heal? Look at this. And it's not using up any SP. 
So, if if you're if you have a persona, I had to load an older save because I killed all the enemies in the area and it wouldn't let me experiment and show this. But I don't have any personas that have any AOE heals. But if you have a persona that has an AOE heal, you can do this to your whole team until they're all back at full health without using up any SP. Now more than that, there's also other skills that you can activate. You eventually unlock this combo here. Let me see if I can find it. All right, here we go, Master Art. You eventually unlock this Master Art with Joker called Wild Rush. You gotta press the X button a whole bunch of times and then trying, oh, uh, uh, Y. That's the square button a whole bunch of times if you're on the PlayStation and then triangle. If you're on the Nintendo, it's gonna be the, I think they have, the, it would be the Y button a whole bunch of times and then X. It's just, you get it, right? The left button a whole bunch of times and then the top button a whole bunch of times. So, well then once. Now, this activates yet another, if you watch the animation there, it activates yet another one of your Persona's abilities. All right, so an easy way to remember that combo, is an easy way to do that combo without having to count your buttons, is to just wait for your attack to become red and then hit the triangle. There you go. So as you can see, I can summon her, and I did a new version of that electric attack. And if you notice, if I look at the her skills, this is how I don't I don't understand how this works. If you look at her skills, I think what I did did was the Mazio ability, and I don't have the Mazio ability unlocked because that was an area of effect, right? A wide area of foes. The Zio ability is this one. All right, there's the Zio ability. So it's three. Three, three X's and then a uh, Y. One, two, three. There you go. That's the Zio ability, right? But if you look, one, two, three, four, five. The Mazio. Yeah, it literally said it above its head. So yeah, it said Mazio. So you don't have to necessarily unlock the skills to get access to them. So it seems like every persona has access to a couple of different skills that they can cast. Uh, actually, I think it's three. They have, they have access to three different skills that they can do, and unfortunately, the game doesn't seem to tell you which those what those skills are going to be. Alright, here's another group of enemies. Now watch my SP. I got nine, right? So you go one, two, three, and I set them on fire, and now I have ten. Three, and twelve. One, two, three, and there you go. See this? So this is, these two personas are absolutely essential towards extending the amount of time you can stay in the palace before you're forced to leave. Not much of a challenge, were Like, they? Let's move on. use the fire persona to re re restore your SP. I mean, use the jack-o'-lantern, I'm sorry, persona to restore your SP. And use the pixie persona to heal yourself. And eventually you're going to get personas that can do AO heals, AOE heals and stuff. And unfortunately, because the game doesn't seem to list, as I was touching on this earlier, the game doesn't really seem, I can't find a place that lists all the attacks that the different personas do. Jack-o'-lantern is the perfect example of this. If you look, Jack-o'-lantern only has two skills that can be ma ma uh, activated. We have Aggie and Rokunda, and he's not gonna learn any new skills. There's no new skills list listed soul thief and burn boost are passive skills okay so what skills does he use then right so if we do his one two three combo he does the fire skill all right that's his very first skill he unlocked if we do the one two one two that i don't know what that is i i don't know what that is i don't it seems to just be a combo that hits them. It doesn't seem to do any kind of special damage or anything. Let's do it here and show you. I mean, it does do special damage, but it doesn't have, it seem to just have a special ailment or anything. Hold on. There we go. Hold on. Okay, hold on. I can't, I can't play. Can I play? I'm trying to show people something. Oh, you need to 
Look easy. Okay, well, never mind. Anyways, right? you get the point. It's I don't I don't know what that skill is. It doesn't have a name as far as I can tell. Like I'm sure it does. I just don't know where it's listed. I don't know wait, what? Did I just damage that guy through the wall? Okay, I guess I imagine things. I thought I just damaged that guy through the wall. But yeah, so, and then and then there's another one of Jack O' Lantern skills. So here's the thing: like it seems the positioning doesn't seem to matter because if we look at his other skill here, the Rokonda is the skill that activates after the million X presses and then the Y. That's that's this skill. See, that's that skill. So that gives you a buff. So, or, or debuff, the debuffs the enemy, I believe, right? Yeah, see, there we go. Temporarily decreases the enemy's defenses. So, I, I don't know what that middle skill is. I don't know how to figure out where these come from. You see, so you can swap skills. If you notice down there, you can reorder stuff. Like, I, I, I don't know what, like, what if I move this to this, right? All right, so there you go. I've reordered the skills, right? Let's see if it changes the skills he uses. So, I'm going to hit... Uh, I'm gonna do his three hit combo and see if it does the buff instead of the fire. One, two, three. Nah, it still does the fire. So there's these set skills on every single persona. There's three combos you can do. The one, two, three. And then there's the one, two, one, two. And then there's the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I, I, I don't know where, I, I don't know what determines those skills. It seems there, it seems there's a menu missing somewhere from the game and that, that tells you what those skills are. So you're going to have to experiment yourself to figure out what they are and what you need from what personas. Uh, I imagine if they get, if later in the game you get soul drain where you can drain Maybe SP away from your enemies or things like that, that kind of thing is going to be super useful. So keep an eye on every persona you get, you're gonna wanna break it out. You don't have to level it up to unlock the skills to figure it out. You're just gonna wanna just test it. Stay sharp. All right, anyways. So I know you can leave the prison and come back in the prison all you want in order to refill your SP, but if you notice, well, but when you do that, it seems like all these enemies are back again, and so you might have trouble pushing through it again, and then maybe you're gonna have to farm levels and all that stuff, but you don't really have to do mm, that I as long like as you're smart about your persona usage of your uh, your persona skill usage through combos that's really important and early game the two that are the most important are pixie who can heal you and jack-o-lantern who can restore your sp so you're going to want to really fall onto those two personas really hard and i say don't use your sp unless you're in an emergency early game at least and another thing that another tip that I have that is actually I think pretty important early game is sometimes there's a lot of enemies and you can't really see what's happening uh, the, like these guys are easy but they're not that hard I mean that these guys are easy they're not that hard to deal with but notice we got someone popped up we saw Rakunda being cast well sometimes the enemies are gonna be casting an ability too and my suggestion is if you're using arson just press l1 to aim your gun and then like take take in what's happening right you can just pause the fight and be like oh wait he's about to cast an ice skill on me let me dodge or oh wait that guy's about to cast a spell on me like what if i interrupt it instead right and i try to interrupt his like no there you go see i paused it here's a fire skill i just dodge so sometimes if you're in a particularly difficult fight you're going to want to really utilize the pause, not specifically to say, I need to aim at this guy and kill him, but just to take in what's happening, right? Because sometimes you're completely surrounded like this. I don't, I don't know what's going on behind me right now. An enemy could be trying to hit fire, right? So just if you feel like somebody's after you, just pause it, take a look around, see what's going on and like, oh, okay, I'm fine. And then maybe he's about to do an attack right now. So I just back out and then, and then come back in and then pause. This is, with really tough fights, using this kind of tactic is really useful uh, to, 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 to really get your, an idea of what's happening and not be just 
spammed down because certain groups of enemies will just spam you down so fast and this really slows it down you can also if you're playing with someone other than joker you can use this ability here and look this way but i kind of just i just like using the gun myself because with that i can like actually like individually target all the different enemies like i can see that behind this bus there's a large group of enemies behind this bus that i'm cycling through so i know i come over here and see right here there was a group of enemies here that they're all fighting back here so think about those things while you're playing the game so those are the the couple of tips i really have i to slow down the fight by using joker's gun or if you're on another character use their thing uh and also uh what you're gonna want to do sorry another one final tip one thing i forgot to mention is let's go ahead and end this fight real quick so i can show it to you let's go ahead and actually demonstrate the tip i did let's say i did really bad in that fight because i was demonstrating some stuff and i have that thing just in case to to bring back to go back to what i was talking about we're gonna switch to pixie you don't have to do it that way actually you can just do it this way and so let's switch to pixie and then do our two hit combo one two oh uh oops <laughs> i guess we could do it while fighting here yeah there we go there we go sorry about that but yeah there you go we can heal up by doing that little uh, that little two hit initial and then doing the triangle button to bring up our health again so that is super 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 important early game Oh, and the last point, I remember what I was going to say now. So the last point here is you have to go to, I believe, stats <laughs> and then click on the player and then go to master arts. It's kind of convoluted to do this, but this is the next really important thing. So I've unlocked further in my other on my other save file. I actually had to reload in order to demonstrate this stuff. But these things here are really important to unlock, and you don't unlock them passively, you unlock them by playing with the character. So that means if you really like wanna if you really wanna have access to your the abilities of your persona, you have to play with Joker to unlock this wild rush to be able to do that big combo. You have to play with Ryuji to get access to his different elemental skills like he isn't going to just be able to do it right off the bat the same for all the characters so my suggestion is to early on only play with Joker until you get wild rush out then then you have like all your abilities well then you have access to those those few abilities there but you want to start playing with other characters too and try to get these unlocked because they don't unlock naturally the only reason Haru there is is leveled up there a little bit with that art is because earlier I had to switch to Haru to win that fight. Notice that everyone else, they don't really have anything. So, if you want to level up their Master Arts, you got to use them. And in order to... And the Master Arts are the things that allow you to use your Persona's abilities for free. Like, I can heal my character for free now because of me using these combos so yeah and as you know i have not yet unlocked the pixie's third electric or second electric ability let's show it one more time in case people were skipping through the video there we go i do not have my zoo unlocked right i do not have my zoo unlocked yeah but anyways to get access to these abilities you're gonna want to unlock those combos and my suggestion is to really work on working this the free skills into your character's ro your your combo rotation rather than just spamming down the enemies with some physical attacks and using some gun attacks here and there you're gonna want to say oh, okay they're weak to lightning let me switch to lightning and let me do the combo one two oh that's a heal wait, wait. one two three then triangle and or a big group of them and you, if you think you have time to do it without getting hit the big one one two three four five six and then this i think it's five and then that 
But like, I don't even count anymore. I just use the visual indicator of the red stripe. Anyways. I hope those tips help you because they've helped me immensely. Uh, let me go ahead and load my other saves. I can show you the issue I've been going through here when I'm trying to figure out how that works. Uh, if you can see, you'll be able to see here that Joker is at full health. He was not at full health for the longest time, and even Haru has a little bit of health. But uh, let's take a look at let's take a look at the party members and see how they look here. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, one, one, two, eighteen, five. Haru was at one as well. Sophie is at one. You can't use Futaba in combat, and Joker was at one. And so you can imagine how difficult it was trying to get through the palace when one hit would kill any party member. It was extremely challenging. And then I realized that you can just do very specific combos. I was just doing the same combos over and over again uh, that were high damage combos. But then I realized, yeah, there's if you switch to Pixie, which I didn't want to use Pixie because her stats were so low, I only used Pixie to manually cast heals. I did not know that you switch to Pixie real quick and do a four hit combo that heals you for free. The game did not explain that well enough. That is incredibly important. Incredibly important. Anyways, I'm rambling like crazy. Uh, I'm going to have to edit the crap out of this video to make it even somewhat coherent. So that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys for coming. Uh, I mean, thank you guys for watching. I hope you. I hope this is helpful to my viewers who have been watching and are planning on buying this game. Because last night they were watching me for the last couple hours of my stream. I was on one hit point with every character being extremely frustrated with this game. So, yeah. You also can just leave the dungeon anytime you want to reset your health, but that also seems to reset the enemies. So, yeah, if you want to really push through it, you have to just... I thought you had to just go with one hit point and not have any darn resources, but no. You can slowly but surely reheal everyone's stats. It's, it's a lot of work to pull it off, but you can do it. So, that's going to be it for today, everyone. Have a nice one. I hope these tips help you guys. Bye.